谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。Okay. Well, greetings, everybody, and uh, welcome to another edition of Jamie's Journeys. And uh, today we are coming to you from Xiamen, and that is in China. And you know, when you think of uh, famous Chinese cities to visit, you know, you're going to think of Beijing, you're going to think of Shanghai. The first city to come to mind is not going to be Xiamen, but there are things to see here, and we're going to tell you a little bit uh, more about uh, where we're visiting in just a moment. But uh, first, uh, we don't have a lot of time today, so our main objective is to get over to uh, uh, this island over here, which is called Gulanyu. And so the first thing we have to do is figure out exactly how to get there. Once we get over there, we'll tell you a little bit more. So come along. Thanks for joining me on another Jamie's Journey. This is Neil, and uh, we just ran into Neil, and we are trying to figure out how to get over to Gulan Yu. Right? Gulan Yu. And as it turns out, you don't need a ticket to go over. You just need a ticket to come back. Yeah, yes. And it's uh, just eight yuan. Eight RMB. <laughs> but there's other ways you can get over too. You can take uh, boats around the island, or you can take a speedboat or a fancy boat, but this is just the local boat. So, eight RMB, you don't pay till you come back. That's very good. Yeah, thank you. That was just a uh, quick little, maybe five minutes uh, from Xiamen. This is also Xiamen, but the, the main island of Xiamen to the little one of Gulan Yu. Anyway, there's some historic things to see here, and our friend uh, Neil said we could follow him because he's going to uh, do some work on some old houses. That's the first thing we want to see. Said we really don't have a lot of time today, but should you come to Gulan Yu, uh, there's a guide place. You can hire a guide uh, for an hour or two, and they'll take you around and give you uh, more of the history of this uh, nice little island.
tell you, you know, we <laughs> we haven't been here long, but uh, the friendliness of the people in this entire area has been so impressive. Uh, from the time we got to the waterfront, uh, you can tell they still don't get a lot of Western influence here, or Western visitors, I should say. These gentlemen showed us a series of uh, three homes that several leaders of China resided in. And they're now being completely renovated, and they need it, but the homes themselves, you could just tell they are spectacular. They offered us a tour, but again, uh, we just don't uh, have the time to do that. We have to keep going. So uh, there's a lot more homes to see. Uh, these are homes that were uh, homes of, of former uh, embassy homes or businessmen, traders in this area. Uh, we think we might be able to get a couple more on film before we have to head back. So uh, let's see what we can see. Come on. All right, this is just, uh, we just saw this billboard and here is the island of where we are. And it is so charming, so walkable. There are no cars allowed on the island and it's just wonderfully paved. Uh, one of the places we wanted to make it to was up to the top, the highest point on the island, but there's no way we're gonna come close to that today, but we could see it uh, from the mansions where we were just visiting. So anyway, let's carry on. We just came up a hill and we saw the Xiamen Music School and this island is very famous for its music. In fact, it's known as the Island of Pianos. It is said that there are over 500 pianos in households on this island and there's only 6,000 dwellings. So I guess that's a very high percentage, especially in China. But it's an island with a, a rich music tradition. And uh, this uh, school here is carrying on that tradition, but they say that many of China's uh, most influential and most successful musicians have come right here from this island. A lot of these old colonial houses are, are run down, but uh, at one time these were embassies, they were uh, businessmen, uh, foreign traders, uh, consulates, and uh, a lot of them need work, but a lot of them are just stunningly beautifully restored. Well, uh, we really had to hustle to get back here. Uh, you know, it's that uh, awful four-letter word, time. That gets in the way sometimes. Anyway, a lovely visit indeed. I would go back and spend more time there. It was truly delightful. Now, uh, Gu Lan Yu is also part of Ximin, even though that's just, as we said, four kilometers around. You can actually go all the way around on the road, but uh, Ximen itself is an island. When uh, the British defeated China in about the mid-1850s at the end of the first Opium War, China had to give up, number one, Hong Kong, so the British took possession of that, but they also had to give up five other treaty ports 
and one of them was Ximen. But the foreigners were relegated to live not on the main island, but on Gulan Yu. And hence, uh, that's why we see so much uh, European influence in architecture and uh, all that uh, built by, uh, originally by a lot of the traders and merchants, very successful ones, and later on uh, embassies, uh, people uh, who were doing a business over here in China. Well, uh, we're gonna make our way uh, back to the ship, uh, but that was a great stop. We're now back at the port, and uh, just, a, just a final word about the city. In 1970, Xiamen was designated as a special economic zone, and since then, it really began to flourish. Now there's many different uh, multinational corporations who have manufacturing here, uh, Dell being one of them, and even Kodak, and many, many more. A lot of investment is also coming in from the Taiwanese that are located right across the strait. And that's because they have the same dialect as one another. But uh, I think a sign of the future might be this cruise terminal. I have to say, I've been in a lot of cruise terminals over the years, and I have never seen a cruise terminal as beautiful as this one. I think they think there's going to be a lot more ships coming here in the future. And judging by the nice day I had, I hope this is so. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us on uh, Jamie's journey here in Xiamen, where we visited uh, the wonderful garden on the sea, Gu Lan Yu. And uh, I hope you come and travel with me again. Thank you.